today on 15 on 15. Green Aruba 2015 is on and set. We will tell you the dates and program. Plus, could it be that soon you will have to reduce the size of your carry-on? Also, the new Prime Minister of St. Martin addresses the issues between the islands and the Dutch Kingdom. Thanks for joining us. I'm Yan Tomu. Green Aruba is back for the year 2015 and details have been revealed. The Green Aruba Conference has had a tremendous turnout since the first year. During the last week of Aruba, the 2015 Green Aruba Conference is set to take place. The topic, of course, will be centered around sustainable energy. Sustainability remains a topic of relevance and importance for the development of the island. Aruba Sustainable Week will consist of a Aruba Learning event on October 26th and 27th. The conference itself will be scheduled for the 27th and 28th of October. Reducing Aruba's carbon footprint will be the core focus of the week. Aruba is aiming to be the first within the Caribbean and in the world to become 100% sustainable by 2020. During the last few years of the Green Conference, many local and international partners have been recruited already to make this happen. For more information, head over to www.greenaruba.org. In other local news, the former Prime Minister of St. Martin, Sarah Westcott-Williams, was very vocal with her disapproval towards certain aspects regarding the Dutch system within the Dutch Kingdom. She was in dismay regarding the limited amount of independence and power the islands within the Dutch Kingdom had. The newly appointed Prime Minister, Marcel Gums, addresses this at a Kingdom conference in Curaçao this week. He stresses the islands need to work together towards the same goal. Yes, the Caribbean is very much so in these last few years. I had the privilege to be with the French president in Martinique and to hear the French president say that France is a Caribbean country. I accompanied the king to Washington a couple of weeks ago and he was proud to say that he's a king with four prime ministers and three of them is in the Americas. Yes, we are important, the Caribbean. We are the bridge. But I think we have to start looking at respecting each other and putting those mechanisms in place that were not there from 1954, where if there's a dispute, that we can take it somewhere and find solutions for it. Moving forward, have you heard of Jerry Paper? If you haven't, don't feel bad because I hadn't either until today. Jerry is considered to be a Sith pop savant. He is an 11-dimensional musical entity who occasionally inhabits the three-dimensional body of Lucas Nathan. To make a long story short, Jerry Paper's videos are very popular around the globe and after receiving a personal invite from someone in Aruba, he has produced a clip featuring the island. Take a look. This is Jerry Paper. He is considered to be the conceptual alter ego of actual human Lucas Nathan. He received an email from a fan named Lewis with the subject line, Tour request for a tiny island? Lewis wanted Jerry Paper to play a show inside his friend's parents' Suriname's restaurant on Aruba. Paper and his filmmaking buds at 3 p.m. decided to make the trip. Footage from their strange sun-soaked experience was then edited into a video for Woozy Track Halfway Zen. Although his show wound up happening inside this weird pseudo thatched hut complex, staffed almost exclusively by apathetic Dutch teenagers, Paper remembers the performance very, very fondly. Louis the fan turned up in just a row, mirroring Jerry Paper's signature kimono look. There you have it. It may not be the most groundbreaking publicity for Aruba, but I guess any kind of spotlight helps, right? Here are the topics you can look forward to in your lifestyle segment coming up. You will want to stay tuned because we will confirm whether or not you will have to bring a much smaller carry-on for your next flight. And jeans. Designer jeans are so expensive. I'm talking about the True Religions and other brands. But are they really worth it? Are they actually better than the $7 denims that you find at Target, let's say? We will have that answer for you. And we give you yet another reason to indulge in more chocolate. Those trending topics and much more coming right up.
More studies have proved that chocolate is good for you. Welcome back from the break. You are watching 15 on 15. There is a new carry-on recommendation being suggested by national airport groups. The suggested new standard size is most probably smaller than what you have now. Potential new size for carry-on items may be your new nightmare, especially if you are one of those travelers who stuff all they can to prevent from checking in a bag. U.S. Airlines raked in $3.5 million alone last year with checked bag fees, so it's hard to imagine they would be against this new suggested smaller carry-on size, but it does slow down the boarding process. The International Air Transport Association, representing more than 200 airlines, says the new guideline is smaller than what is regulated by any U.S. airline. The new bag is designed so if everyone carried one, they would fit on the airplane. According to experts, the lack of a standardized bag size is a problem. Don't rush out and buy new luggage though just yet. This is just a recommended guideline that nine national carriers have signed on as supporters. No U.S. airlines are on board just yet, but you can be sure they will be watching this development carefully. Let's talk about jeans for a minute. Whether you are a man or a woman, we all have that one pair of jeans that we go to for any occasion to show off our best curves. Think back to how much you paid for the denim. Have you ever wondered what makes designer denim so expensive and is it worth it? Designers of premium denim say, the fabric costs more because you are paying for the quality of the craftsmanship and the superior construction, meaning you are getting higher quality denim fabrics, technological innovations, and an overall better fit. With that said though, is it really worth paying more than double what it would cost to snag a pair of jeans at, let's say, Forever 21 or H&M? Designers say you want denim that isn't going to lose its shape and stretch out after a few years. Great premium denim will retail the same shape and feel as the first day you bought them. Keep in mind the opinion was from a premium denim designer, so it could be biased. But nevertheless, when buying a pair, be sure to check the fabrication, especially premium denim. You can do this by looking at the care tags on your jeans. Look for mostly cotton 95 to 98% with a little spandex or elastane for that comfortable, forgiving fit. Moving forward, it has been confirmed yet again that chocolate is good for your heart. A new study published found that people who eat chocolate tend to be more protected against heart disease and even strokes. Researchers at a university in Scotland used data from 21,000 adults who were monitored through questionnaires for an average of 12 years. They found that people who ate more chocolate had a lot of things going for them. They tended to be younger, exercised more, and had lower BMIs, waist hip ratios, and blood pressure. Overall, people who ate more chocolate had an 11% lower risk of heart disease. Those who ate the most chocolate around 100 grams a day had a 23% lower risk of stroke too. Don't be mistaken, it isn't just the bitter dark chocolate. Participants in the study reported eating milk chocolate more than dark chocolate and the heart benefits were all still there. Researchers say this might be because of elements in milk chocolate like calcium and fatty acids. So, if you eat a healthy diet and exercise regularly, the researchers say there is no need to cut down on chocolate specifically if you are worried about heart health. Let's take a really quick break. Here's a word from one of our sponsors. We get into Dutch conflicts and relations within the Dutch Kingdom next. Kingdom conference took place between the leaders. There is a new face among them. The current Prime Minister of St. Martin focused his address to other leaders within the Dutch Kingdom regarding the existing conflicts between the islands and the Kingdom. Marcel Gums is the new Prime Minister of St. Martin. From his time being in office, he learned one crucial aspect regarding the success of a nation. His priority will be on the future generations. I was asked to be the Prime Minister of St. Martin on December 19th. And in January, I had the honor and privilege of having a consultant from UNICEF give a presentation to the Council of Ministers about the rights of the child. We're in June, and I'm still under the influence of that presentation because this gentleman convinced me 
I thought I was convinced and I did everything in politics to serve the country. But this guy, this gentleman convinced me that if you're really serious about building a country and subsequently about building a kingdom, we have to concentrate on the child. Because if you don't concentrate and work in the benefit of the child, there will be no country and subsequently there will be no kingdom. The former Prime Minister of St. Martin, Sarah Westcott Williams, has always been vocal regarding the existing Dutch relations conflicts. Prime Minister Gum says as a collective whole, the islands need to analyze the situation further and take action. The other thing I want to get off from my heart is this kingdom that we're in. It is time that we get together and really decide how are we going to proceed with this kingdom? There are many aspects within the Dutch kingdom Prime Minister Gums deems confusing. In order to unite together, certain things need to change. We have a very unique structure within the world of governments and within the world of countries. How do you explain to someone in the Caribbean that a kingdom has four different currencies? The euro, the dollar, the Aruba guilder, and the Antillian guilder. They just do not understand it. They also do not understand that what we're discussing, that if there's a dispute, that's the word I'm looking for, if there's a dispute, where can it be regulated? Where do we go? So not having that really, really frustrates all of us, in particular those from the Caribbean sector section of the kingdom. Thank you for watching. Join us weeknights at 7.15 p.m. for local updates as well as trending lifestyle topics. We will see you right here on Channel 15 ATV.